Before I went into vlogging, you may be surprised that I had a very successful career in music right around the world. And so today I thought I would do a reaction video on some of my cringiest love songs, seeing as it's Valentine's Day. So stay so tuned to the latest, latest episode of the G-Log. Meet radio and television personality Gaz Reynolds, the founder of World Domination Records and Great Drive Driving School. Like, comment and subscribe to be part of the journey. This is Gaz Reynolds, the G-Log. The G-Log album is now on sale worldwide. Get your copy now, available at YouTube Music, Spotify and all major outlets around the world. Links in the description below. Welcome, Welcome to, another to another exciting, exciting episode, episode of the G-Log. <laughs> so many years ago, I released many love songs, believe it or not, and some of those songs still to this day get played on radio and even get me on television shows. But the videos are really quite cringy. I think the songs are still pretty good, although they will sound a little bit dated, obviously, but they're still good songs in my view. So I thought it would be rather fun uh, to put them into a Valentine's playlist and for me to do a reaction video to some of my <laughs> love songs. Let's see how that turns out. Now this song Deep, I actually wrote in about hmm, 20 minutes, believe it or not, and it, just, it was one of those songs that just came to me straight away. The thing is, <laughs> um, it was a very, very underrated song, but um, <laughs> looking at the video now, I'm thinking, oh my God, what was I thinking at the time? Uh, it, it's 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 interesting seeing them because I haven't actually looked at these videos in a long time. Not bad singing voice though, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> I used to love making these videos as well. I mean, they look very cheesy now and very out of date, but um, I used to love writing songs as well. I mean, I still write songs, but uh, not to the extent of what I used to do. I seem to be more involved in videos these days and other projects. Anyway, that's deep. <laughs> and, uh, well, a very underrated song in my view. This next video we actually shot in India uh, with a very famous television star friend of mine called Nina Chima. Funny enough, she's got a very good uh, soap opera that's on every single day here in the UK. But anyway, this was great fun because we filmed this in India and Nina um, agreed to be in the video. So that really helped uh, the viewing figures on YouTube. So even though the video looks very corny now and even the, re the, the mix of the track actually sounds a bit corny as well, you know, it sounds very dated. But um, I still remember um, filming this video and had so much fun doing it. It was just great fun. I was seeing these videos now it's just... <laughs> Oh yeah, I remember those cows as well. Yeah, it was great fun. And actually, strangely enough, I got into quite a lot of um, newspapers in India when I was out there. And I was actually on a mini tour as well, so that was, that was really exciting. In fact, I think I was the first British artist to take dance music, independent artist that was, um, dance music out to India. So that was uh, something very exciting. A lot slimmer then as well. Look at those poses. <laughs> but anyway, that's thinking of you. That was quite fun seeing that. This is Electric Karma Sutra. Now, Electric Karma Sutra, I re recorded a couple of uh, years ago with um, my friend Somiak, who's based in Peru. He's actually an artist on my record label. And if you don't know, I actually own a record label as well called World Domination Records. And Electric Karma Sutra is one of those songs that never seems to leave me. In fact, it seems to be bigger than ever before. I think it gets something like 7,000 views on YouTube every single day. So, um, but anyway, we re-recorded it and remixed it a couple of years ago. And it's all these tracks that you're watching now are actually on my uh, wedding album 
album which is out on sale worldwide right now. Anyway, I won't talk anymore because I've got a habit of talking all the way through everything. <laughs> it's, cool. it's funny. I mean, the animation looks really cheesy now, but um, at the time it was it was fun doing it all. I did all the animation, by the way, um, and I wasn't trained, as you can probably tell. <laughs> oh God, what was I thinking? Oh, and this is this was probably my biggest hit, Some Forgive. Now, this video was actually shot partly in Russia and part, partly in London because the girl that's in the video is one of my ex-girlfriends and uh, she's Russian. We actually met in Russia, so we actually filmed part of the video in Russia. And, um, and, and this actually knocked Madonna off the world chart and went to number one. So I, I think I had a worldwide hit for a number of months. Um, but this song again seems to follow me around everywhere whenever I do a radio interview or whatever I seem to uh, have this record played I must keep quiet this is supposed to be a reaction video not a talking video telling the story I was very slim then oh. <laughs> Oh, it was great fun going to Russia though, it's one of my all-time favourite countries, I absolutely loved it, I'd love to go back. <laughs> anyway, that's four of my songs from, <laughs> from the wedding album, which is out on sale worldwide now. I thought as it's Valentine's Day it would be rather fun to go down memory lane and look at some of the love songs that I've actually written uh, because you guys might not know me for my music and maybe you do, I don't know. But, um, but it was absolutely great fun um, making these videos and uh, and seeing them today because I haven't actually watched watched the, 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 I haven't watched them <laughs> I haven't watched them for years so um, I thought this morning when I woke up I thought oh it's Valentine's Day I'll do a quick Valentine's Day playlist reaction video type thing to some of my songs anyway if you like this type of content um, please let me know in the comment section down below and I can make more videos like this so I'm thinking about doing some reaction videos to uh, famous youtubers and movie stars and pop stars and all kinds of things I've got loads of ideas so if you do want to see me make more videos like this then please leave your comments down below and then I'll look through them and I promise that if I use one of your ideas I will mention you in the video which would be an extra added bonus point I guess anyway that's the end of today's video if you've enjoyed it please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to leave your comments down below if you're new to the channel please consider some con consider subscribing <laughs> thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon oh and before I forget because I almost did forget happy Valentine's to all of you or happy Valentine's Day shall I say to all of you that's the end of today's video for sure now. Thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon. Hi mortals, I'm Jesus. You can now purchase Gaz Reynolds Presents The G-Log, album volume one from Apple Music, Spotify, and all major outlets around the world. Includes the massive hits, Electronic Kama Sutra, I Only Hear You, and Dark Lady. 
This is one heavenly experience you won't forget. By the way, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to hit the notification button so that you can watch every episode of the G-Log religiously. Out now, Gaz Reynolds' new album, The Electric Wedding Kama Album, as featured on Big Review TV Electric and Radio Kama Harrow. Electric. Available Electric at iTunes Kama and Sutra. all major Electric. outlets worldwide.